Hey guys, it's Katie. Um, so I wanted to take a minute and talk about allergies. Allergies um, are huge right now, uh, especially where we live in Michigan. Um, everybody has a runny nose, itchy eye, sore throat. Um, and this is something that happens every spring and every fall. Um, I don't suffer from allergies, but um, a couple of my kids get, get really bad allergies in the spring and in the fall. So let's talk about how you know whether it's allergies or whether it's like an upper respiratory infection or cold. Um, with allergies, you're going to get like usually itchy, watery eyes. That doesn't necessarily happen with a cold. So if you've got itchy eyes, watery eyes, itchy nose, um, sneezing a lot, those are all signs of allergies. With a cold, um, you're more likely to have a fever. You're more likely to have um, like kind of yellowish snot. I know, gross, right? Um, whereas allergies, it's more clear. Um, Allergies last a long time. A cold usually lasts five to seven days and then you feel better. Allergies can last weeks. So um, so that's another way that you can kind of tell the difference between allergies and a cold. So let's talk about treatment. I feel like I'm about to blow your mind, quite honestly. So everybody goes to the um, drugstore, pharmacy. There's tons of different options for allergy medicine. So what should you take? Let me tell you. Um, there's two different ways to treat allergies. There's preventative treatment and there is um, what we call abortive treatment or treatment um, that helps to alle alleviate symptoms. So preventatively for allergies, you should be taking what's called an intranasal corticosteroid or nasal spray. Um, I actually have this is just the generic version of Flonase. Um, so Flonase, Nasacort, Nasonex, those are all intranasal corticosteroids. This actually has um, my son's initials on it for some reason. Obviously, this is his nasal spray. Um, this is your preventative therapy. So you want to use this every day. You should not skip a day of this. You need to use it every day to prevent allergy symptoms from happening. That can take a good five to seven days. So this is not something that you're going to use and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I feel so much better the next day. It can take a good five to seven days before it starts working, but this prevents the allergies from happening. So you need to use this on a regular basis. I always encourage people to start it a week before their usual allergy season kind of starts. So if you get spring allergies, maybe starting it at the end of March or allergies in the fall, um, maybe starting it kind of in, in July or August. So, um, but again, every single day, the intranasal corticosteroid. So that is Flonase, Nasonex, Nasacort. They're all over the counter now. They didn't used to be, but they're all over the counter now. Um, and then on a side note, a kind of side note, um, speaking of nasal sprays, I'm sure you've all heard of Afrin. This is more of a relief medication. Um, this is an intranasal antihistamine. And it works to sort of um, shrink the nasal passages so it opens things up and you can breathe better. However, and this is really important, with this, if you use it too much, you can have rebound congestion. So um, that means that this actually starts causing nasal congestion. So this should only be used for about two days and then you should not use it again. Um, I don't encourage using this. Uh, I know it makes people feel better, but it sometimes causes a lot more problems than it, it fixes. So again, intranasal corticosteroid, Flonase, Nasonex. This is the generic version. Generics work just as well, in my opinion. Um, so I always tell people buy whatever's on sale. That's what I do. Now let's talk about symptomatic treatment. So that's your preventative treatment. That's going to help to hopefully help to keep the allergies at bay. However, you might get some breakthrough symptoms um, where you do start, even though you're using the nasal spray, you do start to get the itchy, watery eyes, sneezing, um, coughing, sore throat, uh, runny nose. For those things, you're going to want to use an antihistamine. And there's two different kinds of antihistamine. So the first kind and the kind that you should use um, during the day 
is the um, Zyrtec or Claritin. I happen to have Zyrtec here, but um, Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra, or the generic of those, um, those are all antihistamines and they're all non-drowsy. Non so those are what, that's why I say use them during the day. And that should help to dry up some of the drainage, the dripping, the watery eyes. The antihistamines are gonna help dry that up. At nighttime, if you're having an issue, good old fashioned Benadryl um, or the generic, which is diphenhydramine. Um, that's gonna help to dry things up as well, but that is more of a drowsy medication. So it's gonna make you a little sleepy. So anyway, nasal spray for everyday preventative use, antihistamine for, oop, this way, antihistamine for breakthrough symptoms. This is not a Zyrtec ad, like I said. Zyrtec, Allegra, Claritin, the generic of any of those, they're super expensive. So buy what's on sale. If one's not working, try a different one. Sometimes um, one works well for some people and another one works well for other people. So um, we usually just go with what's on sale at my house. Benadryl for nighttime. It's going to help you sleep through those symptoms. Um, anyway, I hope you learned something. Like I said, I feel like I... I kind of going to blow your mind with this. Um, a lot of people aren't aware that they should be using the nasal spray every single day, um, but it really is kind of the first line treatment for allergies. So make sure that you're using that every day. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. You can text me or email me um, or go to our website. Allergy.